The pour is pouring in for a local school bus driver whose home burned down this week. The Edwards family now has to rebuild their lives, but they're finding out they're not in it alone. Renata Di Gregorio reports from the scene of the fire. The Edwards tell me the fire spread so fast they didn't have time to grab anything. That means all of their belongings, including these three cars here, it's all gone. The GoFundMe account created for them has raised more than $10,000 so far, and the community isn't stopping there. The man who picks your children up for school and brings them home safely now doesn't have his own home to return to. Tim and Denise Edwards are left with nothing after a fire ripped through their house in Madison. You don't realize it, you know, being married for 29 years and the stuff that you accumulate and then it's gone. You have to start over. The home they bought to retire in held things like they this. can't replace. This picture of my son, you know, he, he didn't think he... He didn't think he can draw. Donations have been pouring in to the family. Pinwheels from a neighbor's yard now decorate theirs. It brings tears to our eyes, doesn't it? It does. I mean, yesterday when I saw those, I was like, so emotional. Parents and teachers know Tim as a mentor for their kids. Love my kids. I miss you. I can't wait to get back. Now those students and their parents are stepping up for him and his family. Yeah, we were thinking about moving for retirement, but you now after the support and outreach that we've had, this is home. Yep. These people are friends and family and we love them. Their last words to a neighbor here earlier were, we'll be back. They plan to rebuild in this spot. Putting the Valley first in Madison, Renata DiGregorio, WZDX News. To find out how you can help, go to the story on the Rocket City Now app. There you'll find a link to the GoFundMe account set up for them and hear what they say they need in the web extra video.